So, this offseason, could this be the time where we actually make that splash for the true offensive defenseman? It may just have to be that. Welcome back, guys, to our Calgary Flames franchise mode. Do apologize, been a bit inconsistent with the uploads. Uh, some of you may have been following along with my community posts or wherever else I do have. I uh, have been applying for jobs, getting interviews and things like that, and... uh uh, so I've had that going on, plus uh, got assigned a work test for uh, one of them. Very, very uh, pretty pretty amazing position, if I do get it. We'll see. But uh, yeah, so that's kind of what's going on. I've obviously had to prioritize that because there is a deadline on it, and it's actually, well, a paid work test too. So anyway, um, first thing is first. I think we got to look to do it here. Now, there has been some counterpoints made. Of like, if you trade for Wasabi, you give up a lot of value. And maybe he doesn't perform as well as he is in Chicago. Maybe you give up too much value. But, I I mean, at this point, like, right, we're going to just try to be Vegas. Now, I was thinking about moving Anderson. And that was the reason I was bringing up Chikrin in, uh, in the la at the end of the last video. I know some people said, you don't... Uh, don't go for Chicker and you don't make the trade. No, if if we move Anderson, we're probably going to need Jacob Chicker. Um, just because, like, I don't think Dickinson is... I don't know. Like, if you move Anderson, you pick up another OFD, but then, right, you're missing that fourth true top four guy. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Anyway, but let's just start focusing on this trade here. Cone is probably got to be a piece in this. So essentially, they're going to get back a similar player to what they have less developed. And hold on, let me switch back to here. Yeah. Um, could throw in that Harper guy. He's unsigned. That makes things easy, but that's not going to be an issue. I would like to try. Yeah, I'm going to throw Kern in there. As crappy as this is, Kern's going to be sick. He's at least a good, solid second liner. Probably going to be an amazing first liner on their team. And it's honestly going to suck giving him up. Oh, yeah, that shot's pretty good, too. Actually, the awareness is re is amazing. But not The shot could be better, but... I mean, yeah, it's it's tough to give this guy up, but like at the same time, the only reason for me it's tough to give him up because you're making that team better. <laughs> right? That's the main thing. So those are the two pieces, and then it's these two picks. Maybe even our own. And honestly, you could let's just throw our own in there. I mean, that should that should do it if you look at it. But um, I'm gonna make the 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 value more even, even though we know that uh, it's gonna take a hell of a lot more. I just don't want to be ripped off in case for some weird reason this goes in or this goes through. All right, no filling, saying it's filling the need. Let's remove that second. Uh, okay, now they're saying woefully insufficient. So if I removed all that and what do they say here? Oh, it just isn't where it needs to be at all. Okay. Let's throw on that first. I don't really care about picks. Woefully insufficient. Holy crap. Yeah. Okay. So it's probably going to take Erasmus Anderson. Hmm. Yeah. Honestly, at this point, I'm, I'm, ugh, like, part of me just actually wants to move for Korchinski instead. I don't like his contract, though. That's the main thing. It's like, he's not going to grow anymore, and that contract is much worse. Yeah, he had less time. It said top offensive time. Mm. It's pretty solid, too. Uh, it doesn't have the... No, he's got actually pretty good passing traits. So, like, that's my other thing. I'm like, what if we went for Krachinski instead? He's got shooting traits. That's what I'm kind of thinking about. Wait, I think Wasabi had... Yeah, he still has... Well, he has one T. I was kind of thinking about that maybe instead. Just, be, just because of the value. And because they're in our conference, you wor I worry a little bit about giving all this shit up. But, uh, yeah. 
So yeah, my thing is you give up Anderson in this and then you sign Chikrin to be that other other guy in the in the top four. I don't want to give up Yurashek. I really like the contract we have him on. He's solid. Someone's going to have to play on their offside here, but that's not the biggest of deals. Maybe I try to throw in this Harper guy before anything else. Let's say that. I would rather hold on to, uh, to Rasmus Anderson. I know he's got a hell of a lot more value. I know this guy's probably close to that first. I just want to see if it's different. It's not. So yeah, you're probably going to have to throw Rasmus Anderson. And this might not even go through, right? All this, and it still might not go through. It's not. That's kind of insane. <laughs> if, you're, if you look at it, this is kind of insane. You... We can't really give up much else. So, yeah. This is, this is kind of the max amount. Like, what other large value pieces do we have? None. These three are pretty much untouchable. It's, yeah, Anderson. I'm not going to give up any of them. Yeah, that's your first line, and it's an incredibly fair-priced third line. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. There's not a whole lot else I could do. That was it. Like, that's the max, so... I think this guy's off the table, honestly, guys. I I don't think it's possible. It just isn't, unless we give up something that we're not necessarily willing to give up. In which case, I think I'm going to pull for Kurczynski here. Who's similar, not as good, but very similar. With that 1T, I don't mind. I know, I know the price is a bit steeper. But we're still within cap, and we don't need anything. Yes, we're going to have to pay Iginla. Uh, but I think we got him to an incredibly good deal. Yeah. And of course, we could always ship off cap at some other point. But in this case, we're, we'll be able to keep Rasm Sanders. And in fact, we probably won't even have to give up much at all. Like Cone and Kern. But if I'm doing that, fuck them. You're going to have to take picks and be happy with it. Yeah, I'm going to screw them over then. I'm, I'm going to give them picks, give them wild cards, and then we'll ship off those other guys to, to bank more value elsewhere. Fine, you know, if they don't want to play ball with that, we're not going to give them players to help them. These two for Korchinski, probably. Uh, we're going to do the same sort of thing, make it a bit more even. Okay, remove the second, see what they say. Just a bit low. Fuck me, dude. Like, I'm, I'm sorry. I think we have to go with this instead. Wasabi, member and all, as great as he is, dude. This is a very similar player for a much cheaper price, trade value-wise. I know the contract is a lot more. I think we can make him earn that. And we put ourselves in a position to make it feasible. So, all right. Um, we only need a bit more value. I signed one of those goalies, right? Yeah. Hmm. Allison, who I just signed. Landeskog and Marsh. He does have the... Allison does have the least amount of value. But again, I'm still kind of hesitant about giving him anything, like at all. But I mean, this guy's a shot in the dark. He's still going to take years and years to develop. If he even becomes anything special, that'll make the trade go through 100%. And I could probably take back a third. And that, that'll make it, yeah, that'll, that'll go through. Ah, oh, never mind. I can get a fourth or something. I can definitely get a pick in this because it was just a bit low. That's more value than any, uh, than any of that. So, fuck them. It's still a pretty, pretty major trade here. And we did not have to give up anything on our roster. Which means we are incredibly stacked. 
like ridiculously stacked. We can even fuck around and hold on to cone. And like Trey Dickinson, I don't want to. But I'm gonna have to eventually. At this point, it's like, do we play Cone Lozon? I don't know. I think I could get away with like Cone playing AHL and still developing like a boss. And if not, then I just trade his ass anyway. I don't want to play him in the NHL. I want our bottom six. Sorry. Well, yeah. <laughs> your your two your third pair defenseman to be pretty stacked. And I think I want to go Dickinson Lozon. So essentially, it's going to be Plague Korchinski. Uh, actually, maybe I send down Plague. I know, oh, he's listed top two now, though. Yeah, that's the thing. You're going to have the opposite size. We kind of... It's not the, the end of the world if you got weird pairings, but you need Korchinski in the top. That's, that's just a given. I don't necessarily want Plague to get demoralized or anything, but... I'll see. We'll we'll see what happens. But that's yeah. Your your defensive core is friggin' stacked at this point. You still got your depth. Still got Lowe's on. You have the extra in Cone, who's probably just gonna play AHL. And then Hilper, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're fine. All good in the way of uh, AHL. I'm just doing rough counts right here. If you look, we still have cap space, and that's gonna be rough. What, what uh, Joe's bringing in, right? Oh, he hasn't signed yet. That's right. Anyway, um, you got our... Uh, we still have fucking Kern. Jesus. Yeah, well, that's what they get, dude. <laughs> they could have had... They could have had so much. Oh, my goodness. We have... Yeah. What if... What if we did something actually kind of crazy? What if we use Kolamainen and Kern with Hanzik on the fourth line? Just stupid. Like, just got really stupid. I know it's not like a fourth line, but what if we just double down on what we're supposedly going to be good at and get a like quadruple scoring lines because we have a forward coach <laughs> and then maybe our goaltenders will play well at that point. I I have no idea, but I'm really kind of tempted to do that. And so I'm going to wait because we might see value jumps from those guys anyway. So if I do trade them off for other stuff, I think we're going to want to see what that value is going to be. Um, anyway, I was supposed to do a rough count here. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, that's all skaters, whoops, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 22, there it is, 22 on Son and Betty, huh, so 22, yeah, we need at least a couple of forwards for the AHL, yeah, all right, we'll go ahead and do that. A couple of dudes. Uh, actually, we should get three or a depth piece. I think I got rid of a depth piece. So actually, let's look for a depth piece real quick. Yeah, because I got rid of a comp. So at this point, the depth piece, well, it could still be like a two-way or something stupid. I don't even know. I don't know. I have, I have a crazy idea. I'm just I'm, I'm just going to try keep trying weird different things. Uh, because whatever the hell we're thinking isn't actually working. None of those guys are any good, by the way, for depth. They're actually pretty bad. Cunning, ugh. No thanks. Jack Drury, ugh. None of these guys are very good. We need someone who's also at least okay offensively, I guess. They're... Yeah, Shinikov was so close. And his defense was ass. Tyson. Nope. Hmm. Okay, there actually might not be what we're looking for here. Wow. You could do something like Wade Allison, I guess, but... Alright, let's lower the expectations a bit. <laughs> I know we're getting into the worst overall territory. Comp was like pure defense. Eesh. Well, I mean, you know, it doesn't have to be a two-way since we are kind of... I just like two ways. I mean, we could use the other guy for depth. That guy who was the playmaker could go back to that. He can go anywhere. All right. Um, We're fine on defensemen. Yeah. These guys aren't... Like, that's the best one if he was going to become anything. DFD, too. 
Uh, but we don't need defensemen. And speaking of which, I should actually go for forwards here. So we just need a couple. Damn. Could get like a nice fourth line of pure prospect dudes, but eh. Ooh. Man, if he becomes something. If he becomes something. Yeah, let's get him for two years. Let's get him for two years. That's, yeah. Wow. If he... Poof, just a little bit more. Like, he could be something. All right. Let's grab him. Don't really... Yeah, I guess I could grab a couple of these guys. Eh. They're real, no, not not low six. Not low six. Barlow, is he any? Eh, I wish his defense was a bit better. Oh, they got Casper Halton in as a power forward and someone who never made the NHL. That is rough to see. Hate to see that. <laughs> hmm, yeah. Getting a bit too picky here, I think. Let's grab this guy as well. These will be some backups uh, in case we don't like our strategy, <laughs> which could uh, honestly be the case of a third or a fourth line scoring. I don't even know what I'm doing here. I'm just going wild with it. Interesting. There's not exactly what I want here, but I'll go for this guy, I guess. Oh, never mind. Trash. I do want these guys to be two ways because we don't have... We have some of them, but... Damn. Getting in a rough territory here. Beck isn't horrible. Neither is, uh, no, is his defensive awareness where it is at. All right, you know what? Let's just go for Beck. Maybe he gets a jump plus the last year growth. So let's go for him as well. I think that'll be fine. Was that three guys? That should be one extra. Or is that only... No, it was three, yeah. Okay. Um. Oops, did I forget? I think I forgot coaches. I think I just need one. Yeah, it's just that goalie coach. Lol, of course. Didn't we just get him? Pretty sure we did. Uh, we'll go by teaching because they always have good teaching. And see if maybe we get lucky. Yeah. Uh, actually, no. The best thing to do is to actually go by grade. What am I talking about? Easier to find if a goalie coach pops up here. But we may not be so lucky this time around. Probably not. Yeah, no, no, let's just get a good teacher one, whatever. Let's just get that guy. Not waste too much time. Uh, oh, Sorry, get her. Veronica Hurdle. Get on this team. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. So that should do it from there. We'll advance a few days now. Make sure we get everyone in free agency that we want. Okay. And the plurs. Waffles extended. We got Beck, Patterson, and that Sakura guy. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I know I might have to trade one of those goaltenders just to make them not suck in the sim anymore, but I'm trying to hold on to both of them for as long as possible. Because one of them's got to sim well in the playoffs, goddammit. All right, Egan will extended, and that should be it, actually. So he, his contract will be locked in. I can remember what the hell it is. Um, Tiege. Yeah, still a bridge. That's actually a Oh, my God, it's a ridiculous contract now. Um, Sharon Govich is a tough one. Our third line is going to be grittier than our fourth, but that's uh, whatever. I'm just gonna, I just want to see if this works. I don't know what I'm doing anymore, man. Where the hell is Joe at? There he is. Yeah, dude, he was under five. That's so stupid. 
Uh, so if we're looking at what next year is, somehow 15 mil. What, Sharon Govich and I think goaltender and got to be some other stuff. Hanzik. He's decent as an offensive guy, right? Oh, hell yeah. At least with the awareness. Yeah, he's going to be fine with those two snipers, I think. I know they won't have a playmaker. I could always throw Phillips in. That's why he's good. He's going to be our depth piece. He could always go in there, but yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm curious to see. I, I don't know. Maybe this doesn't work, but I'm just, I'm just really, really curious to see if this works. So, uh, yeah, uh, we're going to sim up here. I'll get the lines and such taken care of. I'll see you guys in a bit. A trade to announce. Marco Rossi headed to Tampa, Minnesota, getting just two seconds for him. All right, so bit of a blockbuster here. Well, uh, chemistries and some other factors dictated that the lines looked a bit different than what I was predicting. Other factors also being massive fucking jumps. Um, but we're gonna go Sasquatch Coggins, Dubial first line. Yeah. Um, Johnson, Celebrity, Iginla second line. Wow. Uh, and then Kern, Iginla, Colamine in third line. Uh, and then Hanzik, Sharon Govich, Waffles, fourth line. So, instead of having a fourth scoring line and then, like, that more checking third line, we have, like, a more of a hybrid third line. But Tiege is solid offensively. Like, he can, he can pass the puck. These two guys can score. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't, I don't know, man. <laughs> it's weird. We're just going crazy with the skill guys here. That'll give us a lot of flexibility come the playoffs. Defensively, it'll be Korchinski and Anderson because that's actually the best chemistry. Um, Korchinski, not the greatest in this system. And with Plague, it's at, he's actually better as a top four guy. It's a bit interesting, but we're doing we're doing a kind of spread for our top four. Korchinski, Anderson, Juracek, Plague. So more of a shutdown second pairing. Like this is our shutdown pairing. This is our kind of play driving puck moving pairing. That's uh, yeah. And then Lozon Dickinson. I do have uh. Cone in the AHL. Our power play is looking like this. I made some minor changes. Sasquatch net front. Dubiel Coggins, Sharon Govich, Korchinski. Coggins feeding Dubiel, obviously. Sasquatch puck carrying. Uh, Sharon Govich in here because, well, he's got X Factors and that'll help him not get extremely, extremely pissed off playing on the fourth line. <laughs> Top power play time. Uh, the second unit Johnson net front, Iginla, slot shot, Celebrity being the disher, Rasmus Anderson, and Kern on the point because he's going to be listed as second line there. And there you see the. Uh, Thing the jigs, uh, yeah, okay, good. He's taking face off celebrity, and then here it's got to be there. Oh, perfect, that's exactly who I want in there. I didn't even touch that. Uh, no one cares about the four man penalty kill, whatever the hell the game says. Honestly, I'm done. I'm done trying to figure out penalty kills and make my own adjustments. It, yeah, whatever. This is what the game is saying. This is what I'm gonna let it roll with. <laughs> celebrity and dubial, huh? Interesting counter attack and penalty kill. Three man, we'll take a look. Sharon Govich, Sasquatch, and then like, yeah, Waffles. I don't know. It's doing what it wants to do. Four on fours, though. You're going to see. I actually didn't make a single change to this. I like how it did. Give Plague more, a bit more ice time here. Coggins, Dubiel, yep. Uh, Celebrity Johnson, hell yeah. Fortunski, Juracek. And then uh, Sharon Govich, Iginla, yeah. And again, helping out Sharon Govich here. Then for the three on three defenseman, Korchinski. Anderson and then play actually because he does have send it and his offensive stats are pretty good. So F it. I know Dickinson is not gonna be in there. He might be getting pissed off. Maybe we'll have to trade his ass. Uh Dubiel and then maybe Joe at this point, but I'm still really leaning towards Trey getting that ice time, so I'm gonna throw him in there instead. Cause he can do net front or shot. Yeah. Of course, Becky Lunch and Everett Scott as our goaltenders. And yeah, we may have to commit to one of them. So, all right, this is what the team's going to look like. Like I said, really, really going all into that offensive flavor, especially here with this third line. It's, it's, it's a lot more offensive driven than it has been. What, last year's T's, Sharon Govich, Waffles. You know, two two-ways and a grinder. Now it's two a two-way with a couple snipers. 
I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> Again, we're running out of ideas here, but we're going for this weird thing. Uh, I do want to make sure. I don't think the... Uh, yeah, they didn't get turned back on. We want rotations on. Maybe we have to rotate ourselves. But I do want to see if Becky Lunch is going to be better. And again, yeah, we might have to just trade one of those goaltenders. Maybe it's too competitive. <laughs> and they're getting pissed about the other one being there. Because I don't know, man. It'd be great to know. But uh, let's see. Come on, Calgary. Let's, uh, well, that's, no. I don't need that. Yeah, it still keeps putting Scott on the block. I mean, again, it does kind of make sense, but... We'll trade them when we're ready. Uh, oh, yeah, I should have actually shown the AHL lines. Because Cohen is there. He's uh, he's in the top. I don't know. He's in the top, too. He'll be probably having all the good good ice time and shit, too. If anyone's scratched, I don't care. <laughs> all right. Preseason's going well, but it is, it's preseason. We don't care about that. Well, we're scoring. <laughs> That's for damn sure. A lot of goals early on here. Owen Beck, that's AHL. I'm just that's gonna be a straight best lines the whole year. Let's see. What the heck this team's gonna be capable of. Couple of rough losses right there. Uh also AHL. <laughs> hey, at least it's all to the AHL right now. I'm cool with that. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, maybe all in on offense isn't working here. But again, it's early. You got a whole a whole lot of new players on this team. 10, 9, and 1. Uh oh, four points out of that wild card, three points out of the next one. Games in hand, though, at least on the Kraken, not on the Avalanche. But we got games in hand on the Kraken at least. We need, like, we just need a good stretch. Let's see what the heck has been. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> he's got, he's over a goal for a game. Oh, it's gross. What are we doing here? Let's see. Actually, we're not scoring that much. What? What? <laughs> oh my god. I literally went all in on the offense, and actually, yeah, with the the it falls off so fucking hard. Look how hard that falls off. Actually, that's pretty pathetic. It's actually pretty goddamn pathetic. How hard that fall? Yeah, that third line is getting eaten up, dude. All right, so that we that might just have to be revamped. Korchinski's doing okay. I'm gonna give it another month before I decide to do anything. We're trying, I'm just trying weird shit, dude, at this point. Like, I know this could fall flat on its face. And, uh, I don't know, maybe with the... I, I, just, I just thought, like, I don't know, we have a forward coach, maybe a scoring top nine makes more sense. Maybe a whole thing of that makes more sense. But there just seems to be these weird hidden, co hidden coding that just stops... I don't know, but, like, again, we're, we're vastly underperforming when it comes to offense. We are vastly underperforming. Look! It's not just like we're getting crushed some like some game. No, no, no. Like we're vastly underperforming on the offensive side of things. We should be so much better. We're just vastly underperforming in general now. Cool. Starting to figure it out. That's a rough injury to Joe, but we got a playmaker that can slot in there. He's not out for too long. 18, 15, and 2. We're out of a wild card spot, but two points behind the Sharks, who we have a game in hand on. And one, three, sorry, three points out, three and four points out of the wild cards. Still, though, that's not amazing. It really seems like it's our, it's, it is our first line carrying all the weight, which, uh, please explain that to me. I'd love for you to explain that to me. But clearly there's a, he's got 21 points now. Yikes. That is unacceptable. That is actually unacceptable. All right, I'm going to wait for again to come back, and then I'm probably going to put. Yeah, we're going to. That, that first line is a bit too stacked. So, okay, okay, fine. Let's sim up a couple more days. No, I don't want Pollock. Jesus. 
Egan was back. Cool. I love how this line is getting torn to pieces, by the way. Like, yeah. Why not? Like, I, I guess. <laughs> uh, he's got 96 defensive awareness. No big deal. Tiege, 86, 81, 98. What about coal mining? 86, 83, 88. Stats don't fucking matter. They really don't. Stats just don't matter. Dickinson. Yeah, honestly, it really, really, really feels like the biggest thing that I'm figuring out at least, the biggest thing that seems to almost matter is roles. Like when guys are in their proper roles, but fucking that's so stupid. Look at stacked teams. The whole thing is having depth guys who should be playing higher, but they, uh, whatever, dude, I'm not, I'm, yeah, just going to piss me off. Anyway, I'm making this sort of change. I want Thubio on that one time still. We're going to go back to this combo. We're going to get Sasquatch here. I know there's no real playmaker here anymore, but, like, there's a hybrid. There's, I don't know, because you're not scoring. Tej got whatever two-way guy gets. <laughs> the bear claw. And this line seems like it's absolute dog shit. Alright, yeah, Sharon Govich actually lost. Yeah, because I put him on the fourth line, he lost all his X Factors. So that's cool. So okay, here's here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the thing I wanted to do with that fourth line. And make them that. We're gonna go with that. We're gonna turn this back into more of a checking line. I don't care about the chemistry. We're gonna turn that into a checking line. Because clearly, they were doing fuck all as a scoring line. Sorry. And then have this fourth line that's barely going to get a nice time. Because we're in roll three lines. I don't know. You got extra guys here. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Mm. Thinking about moving Dickinson as well. Alright, let's see. Let's see if this does anything. Third line checking line and a fourth line of extras, basically. That's all I'm looking at that as. That's a pretty good stretch. Oh, really? This was it? This is okay. Right, it could it could be just a good stretch, and we could go right back to uh, shit in the bed here. Yeah, it might happen. Coggins. Oh, that's a real concussion too. Well, the good news is we can kind of throw anyone in there. But I'm just going to throw Phillips in because I don't want to be bothered. Still a plus four. That's, yeah, no, that's that's fake. You're lying to me. I know we're in danger of missing the playoffs. I'll see if we really actually are hurting. Oh my god, apparently we are hurting because of that. Rasmus Anderson, I don't think he was out. It's not doing poorly, but not doing great. Yeah, he wasn't really out. There you go. Points, please. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> apparently, I need a third line checking line, and then it almost doesn't. Is that is that the secret to like this bullshit? I don't know. Their plus minuses are getting better down there. What the f... Okay. Like, I'm cool with it. Whatever. We're very strong down the middle. That looks like a pretty damn good jump. What was he at? 5 and 9 before? Now he's at 14, 17? But again, that's a horrible, horrible year for Trey. All things considered. 33, 25, and 3. After acquiring an offensive defenseman. That's why, I, ladies and gentlemen, I always said you don't need an offensive defenseman. Sometimes it can be a detriment. We're holding on to a wild card spot by five points with games in hand. Uh, a little bit less if you're looking over there at the Blackhawks. Yeah. Two points only. <sighs> and we're not, we're barely scoring. What the fuck? I've had 
way, way worse offensive cores than this who have scored way more. Defense really got better. That's that's a cool thing, but like Yeah, Dubiel is actually he's the only guy Look at this. Look at the depth score. The depth scoring is actually atrocious. Like, it's actually atrocious. What happened? What the fuck happened, actually? <laughs> Tiege is so bad. Oh, my God. Seriously, though. What? Like, I don't get it. Korczynski's doing okay. I'm very... Yeah, I, that's that's fine. But it's not amazing, and the plus my and the defensive plus minuses are awful. Both goaltenders are are horrible. Yeah. Uh, like we clearly need to rethink this. I'm trying. I tried weird things. I tried to do you know other stuff before. Clearly, this idea was a step backwards. Now, not always bad to take a step backwards if you can take two forward, but uh, ugh. So, yeah, I, I don't know. Forward coach, then an entire bottom six of grit and shutdown? I don't know. If, yeah, if we're going to go all in on the top six, then that's what you do. That's my guess. Uh, yeah, so do we do that at the deadline? Pro I don't know. We got to do something at the deadline. I know that. Yeah, like, I don't know. I feel like... I don't know what I feel like, honestly. And actually, Thalmy me Plague is hating his life. It's like, fuck off, man. I really don't know. You guys, honestly, tell me in the comments what has worked for you. What have you won cups with? Like, coaching? I'm talking about like, what, what does your head coach do? And then how did you design the team? Because uh, I'm completely fucking out of ideas for this game. Things that I've done in the past are atrocious now. This team is absolutely stacked. And that's a bad thing. It is a bad thing. Like, it, it doesn't work. So, yeah. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. So, uh, yeah, you guys give me all your fucking ideas. And uh, we'll start executing on more of them. Uh, yeah. Because I don't really know. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Anyway, remember to hit that like button. I'll see you guys in the next one.